Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zersher and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to stitch a ribbon rose. So it's that little rose that one can stitch from a piece of a length of silk ribbon. They're really delicate and sweet and you can do them in clusters or just as a single one in the middle of something. I'm going to show you how to do them in a couple of different widths of silk ribbon. So don't forget to hit that like button. It's that thumbs up button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithms and subscribe. Click on the little bell for email notifications and talk to me. I love hearing from you. So leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. So grab something to stitch with some silk ribbon. I'm using four millimeter to begin and 24 chenille needle and let's stitch together. For the ribbon rows, uh, I'm using a four millimeter silk ribbon. I've cut the tip of it um, on an angle so that I can easily thread my chenille. This is a 24 chenille. For the ribbon rows, you start with what is the beginning of a colonial knot. So I was thinking, because it's a wrap, basically, stitch, I should use a Milner's. But then I talked to a friend of mine who does a lot of ribbon work, and she said, no, a chenille 24 is just fine. So I thread my needle, and then I just do a couple of running stitches down the center from the end. And then I pull the end right here down. I slide the ribbon down to the end of the needle to the eye and I pull that little tab over and that's going to secure my ribbon. Now I can go ahead and tie a knot, which I've already done at the end. I'm going to bring I'm going to do a little cluster right here. I'm going to bring my needle up, pulling my ribbon through. I'm then going to grab my ribbon and as though I were about to do a colonial knot, I put my needle under the ribbon like this. I pull the ribbon around the needle. I want to pull this out so that I've got a couple of inches of ribbon. And then I'm going to do a little running stitch down the center, about a quarter of an inch apart. And then I'm going to insert it back into the hole pulling that thread just very gently and then pulling my needle through. And what happens is I get a little rose. I can manipulate these so that they're, you know, laying in different ways. And then I come up for my next one going to take my ribbon, put my needle on top, and do that motion with it. Now I'm going to wrap this thread in my held in my right hand around the top of the needle. I'm going to pull my needle so I make sure I have a couple of inches here. And then every quarter inch or so, I'm going to pierce the center of the ribbon. And then go back down, gently holding the thread to one side as I pull my needle through. And that's my little ribbon rose. 
I'll do one more right here. You can iron your ribbon if you want before you begin. I, I generally don't, but I know people do. I put my needle on top of the ribbon. I'm holding the ribbon with my right hand. With my left hand, I'm holding the needle and I'm placing it on top of the ribbon. And then I'm tweaking this around so that I, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna take the ribbon that I'm holding in my right hand and I'm going to wrap it around the top of the needle. I'm gonna pull this so that I have a couple of inches to do my little running stitch. And then every quarter inch or so, I'm going to go down the center of this ribbon going to hold that ribbon to the side and then I'm going to pull the needle through. For ending my thread for my ribbon, I'm just going to do a, a knot at the end. And then because I don't have any layers to weave the end through, I'm just going to weave it through the existing ribbon that's here on the back. And then I'll just cut off this end. That is my ribbon rose. Now I tried to do the ribbon rose using a ribbon floss, and this is what happened. It's possible. But as you can see, it doesn't have the delicacy of the ribbon rose. It's got sort of a big lump here at the top. I'll show you how to do the ribbon rose using a wider silk ribbon. This is a seven millimeter silk ribbon. Um, it, it seems to work. I did try it um, with a a ribbon that was a silk ribbon that I bought in here in New York and um, it was five eighths of an inch and it did not work. It was just, I couldn't get the needle through. Um, it might have been the kind of silk it was. It might have been that it looked like it was a bias tape uh, silk. And that might have affected why I wasn't able to pull it through. Even so, with this one, I have to use my pliers to pull through. But once I'm able to do that, it does, it does go through. And so there it is. There's the little delicate four millimeter, that's seven millimeter. And this is using the ribbon floss which is interesting, but I don't think ultimately so successful. I mean, it's a different look. I'm not able to achieve this. So there it is, the ribbon rose. Um, by the way, this is a cast on bouillon circle. This is a raised cup stitch the trellis. This was a trellis attempt in a gimp that was not successful. This is a palestrina knot done in gimp and a bouillon knot done in gimp. These are bouillon tendrils. A whipped woven using gimp in the center.